Hey Makeup Marketers, it's Emily Seagren and today we are covering some Avon tips on marketing your business on Facebook. So uh, I've done a few of these trainings, I'm calling them Emily Seagren's Makeup Marketing Online Boot Camp um, and don't worry I'm not too strict <laughs> but anyways um, and instead of doing a webinar or a conference call um, I like doing these events on Facebook and giving you some activities um, to go along with the topic each week. Um, I'm not doing them every week, but I'm trying to do them at least a couple times a month. So if you are not yet a member of our Makeup Marketing Online group, be sure to look that up on Facebook, and then you'll get invited to um, all these events. So today we are talking about uh, selling Avon online using Facebook and I just um, want to cover today in, in referral sources finding out where your um, visitors are coming from and how you can use that information to prioritize your time. Um, so I just did a video recently on how to install the Google Analytics tracking code on your Avon website and now we're going to take a look at um, one of the most piece, uh, helpful pieces of information that I look at um, frequently. So if you haven't uh, installed that code yet, make sure you look up that video. Uh, I walk you through exactly how to set it up. Um, and then we're going to go in here and uh, this is usually closed. So this is your um, welcome screen here. Um, and under acquisition, we want to select that and say all traffic. Um, and then I want to look at the source of where my Avon website visitors are coming from. So you can see up in the right hand corner here is where you can change the range of the dates that you want to look at and I'm just going to look at um, pretty much the first quarter of 2015 um, or the last 90 days. So if we look down here you can see that my number one referral source was my makeup marketing online website. Uh, second would be direct, meaning um, people are going in and entering my website address and going directly to my e-store. Um, and that is probably as a result of me mailing out catalogs. Um, so I do that twice a month using campaign mailer. And then my third biggest uh, referral source is Pinterest. Um, so I actually went through and, and uh, calculated it out to find a percentage there of how many people are coming from where. So if I look at how many people are coming from Makeup Marketing Online, um, it looks like about 9,900. Um, and then Directly was about 3,300. And then Pinterest was about 800. Um, so I took the averages of just those three, so I totaled that up, it came to um, 14,000. Um, so I took 9,900, because that's how many people came from MakeupMarketingOnline.com, and divided that by 14,000 to figure out a percentage. So 71% came from my website, 24% uh, typed in my e-store address, and 6% came from Pinterest. So that kind of tells me how I want to divide up my time, how I want to prioritize it um, when I'm working on my online business. So I also take a look at the back end of my Makeup Marketing Online website. And this is a WordPress blog. Um, everyone's going to have uh, a different view here depending on whether you use an outside blog and uh, which service provider you are using. So um, I did the same thing. I looked at the last quarter um, and I can see that 39,000 came from search engines, um, meaning they came from Google, they came from Bing, Yahoo. Um, you can see all the different ones here. Uh, but how they found me was probably one of my blog posts on Makeup Marketing Online. 
So um, let's say I have an article called um, sign up to become an Avon representative. So if someone went into Google and typed in that search and my website came up, um, that's where these would be coming from. Uh, they typed in some keywords, found me th through one of the search engines. Okay, so then 15,000 came from Facebook, and again, my third referral source is Pinterest. Um, so that tells me my top three sites um, or top three sources are definitely my blog, um, Facebook, and then Pinterest. And I also want to continue mailing out those catalogs because it is working um, by getting repeat customers. So I hope that information gives you a, a little help and direction on how you can use the stats to um, divide up your time and, and where you can best allocate yourself when you're working online. So, um, you know, I kind of looked at this a while ago and figured out that I was probably spending like 80% of my time on Facebook um, just because it's fun to do, but uh, obviously it wasn't my biggest. Um, referral source, so I, I tried to change that up. Now I only uh, allow myself to try and go on, you know, first thing in the morning, lunchtime, and then at the end of the day. Otherwise, it can be a big time waster. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, look me up, Makeup Marketing Online, and Emily Segrin. Have a great day.